what is going on everybody skyrocket gaming here today i'm coming at you with another hurt world video um in this one i'm gonna go over the basic server commands if you're running your own server like in the like i explained in the server hosting video i did right before this one i'll put a link to that in the description to know how to start that up um let's just get right into it so in hurt world as you guys might know they have a admin console uh, if you press your F1 key on your keyboard, it'll bring up this black box here, and it'll allow you to input certain commands. And if you are the owner of the server or you are admin on the server, you can use the console to spawn yourself an item. So this is actually this is the first first command I'm going to go over here is item list, and it will basically give you a list of the item keys or the IDs that each items are. Um, so for example, like the item ID for the workbench is three right there or the item id for a gold axe is 79 those are just the numbers that are associated with the different items and the second uh command i'm going to do is actually how you spawn them in so for example if i wanted to spawn myself in a titanium pickaxe you see it right here 80 and then titanium pickaxe so what i would do is i would press g for so for give and i would press space and i would put in the item code so since we're using the titanium pickaxe i'll just do 80 and then how many titanium pickaxes I want. So I'll just do one for now. And I press enter like that. You see at the bottom of my screen right there, it says item received titanium pickaxe. So yeah, you can use all of this stuff if you have your own servers. Like if you just wanted to build or something or you want to just kind of see all the items in the game, that's how you would do it. Um, moving on to some more commands we have here. Uh, we have G all, which basically it gives you that item, but in like the maximum stacks in one uh, hand. So you don't have to keep on spawning yourself in like custom numbers on here. Um, you have Archon, which basically it runs commands like kick, quit, quit 300 or something like that. So if you wanted to like kick somebody, you would do like um, Archon kick whoever the name is, like Bob or something. That's how you would kick a player named Bob if they're hacking or just being kind of a butt in general. Uh, moving on to the next command here, we have spawn. Uh, this will basically, it will spawn any object two mirrors in front of you and the list of what you can do isn't really available. It's kind of like, for example, a sandstorm if you wanted to spawn a sandstorm weather kind of thing. That's how you would spawn that. But I'm not really going to do that right now because I'm not in the mood to be in the middle of a sandstorm. Uh, the next command we have is stock vehicles and what stock vehicles does is all the vehicles that are like on the ground in the server currently it'll load them up with like full gas full wheels kitted out like ready to go for people to pick them up I'm not really sure about the purpose of that at the moment but I'm sure if it's like just kind of if you wanted to have fun or something it just stock up vehicles uh, for people just to grab them uh, and then you have a next next command uh, refresh AI looks like that it will kind of delete it will delete all the NPC mobs and resource nodes like the trees logs and the rocks and all that stuff and they will respawn all slowly so if something was lagging really bad what you would do is you would kind of just do the refresh AI and it would respawn everything and kind of free up your server and the next command we have here is the teleport command so what it does is it teleports one player to another since I have only one person on this server me I can't really demonstrate it right now um, but you what you would type is just teleport and then you have to do full your full name so I want to do like sky if I want to teleport somebody I would do skyrocket space let's just use Bob again or something like that Bob and if I press enter it would teleport me to that player it's not gonna find it because there is no Bob on the server but that's how it would basically it would teleport you. I don't know if you can't teleport specific locations right now because they're not really named. I mean, there is names, but you can't. There is no like location teleporting as of as of yet. Another one is an admin message. It's another archon command. If you do archon admin message, oops, admin message, and then whatever you want the admin message to be like, hello world. There's the admin message in the bottom left hand corner of the screen right there. That's just a little admin message. That's how you would say, oh, if you want to just do a custom servers restarting soon or there's an event going on. That's how you would do that manually if you don't have them on a timer. Archon set time sets the time of day. So, for example, Archon set time 100. It's suddenly nighttime. It's very cold. I think Archon set time set time like 
zero. That's night. Not too sure about the times of days I, or how the units work as far as the time of day is concerned in this game quite yet. Um, I'm trying to figure that out, but I'm probably just going to have to do the rest of this at night time because I don't know how to change it back. <laughs> um, the next command is Archon Freeze Time, and it kind of freezes the time of day. Like if you want to do an, a 24-7 day server, you just run that Archon Freeze Time. And boop. Frozen. You're stuck in this. Like 24-7 nights or who don't... I don't know who would actually want to do a 24-7 night server, but this is it. You see this guy isn't moving. It's not changing at all. There's a bird. Hello. It's not really changing at all. It's just staying at that one time of day. There are some other commands we have here. Um, just give me a second here. I am very cold right now. Yeah, we have some other stuff here. We have, uh, this is kind of server hosting stuff with Hurt World. You can press host port and it'll kind of default host right here. If you just type host and then the port, I'm not going to do that right now because it'll screw up the server I'm on. Or you can do, uh, you can change your game ID. Basically, this is used by the server browser to change the name of your server. If you do change game ID, like who, unknown command. Um, if you type that in the correct format, it will it will change the game ID. All that can be kind of all that can be really done from your bat file. Uh, you shouldn't have to do that via the console, as far as I know. And yeah, that is that is about it for the server commands. I'll be making my next video on the weapons of Hurt World, doing a little showcase of those, what they're all about, maybe some of the higher-end tools. All right, guys, be sure to like, rate, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I will see you next time. Peace.